Hey guys, welcome back to Surprise Inspiration Gardens. Today we have an organic mushroom mini farm, and it's the oyster mushroom. They were generally used in World War I in Germany because they were um, renewable and sustainable. Um, oyster mushrooms contain almost as much protein as meat and help reduce the cholesterol in, so you don't get as much heart attacks and strokes. So I'm gonna follow the instructions. And it says to cut the, this back piece out, or just rip it out with your hand. I'm just going to use a razor blade. And then it says to cut across right here in the mushroom material in the plastic. And then it says to scrape it. So we'll take it out of the box so he can scrape it. So I'll let you scrape that right there. So this is the mushroom farm box. It comes with instructions on the side. And then also sell, tells their background story on how they quit college. So what he's doing right now is he's scraping this layer, the white layer off so that it exposes the fungi so it'll produce because that's what the instructions say to do so not white chocolate <laughs> yeah it looks it's grown in a hundred percent organic plant material and hold that up to the camera so it kind of looks like coconut core and so it says then soak it in water for eight hours with this piece face down and it floats so we got this awesome sedimentary rock to float up to put on the top of it so it'll be submerged in the water and now we'll let that sit for eight hours and we'll come back to you then okay so the block has been soaking for eight hours and Grant's gonna wipe that off and put that in the box and it's been soaking in this water and all the water has drained through the block and made this like compost tea, tea sort of stuff. Mushroom compost tea. Yeah. And so we're going to put that on our mulch and trees. And that will help the fungi grow. fungi grow. And then when we're done with this, we're going to cut it up and mush it up, spread it on our mulch. And we watched some YouTube videos where they actually had mushrooms growing in their backyard in their mulch pile. So we're gonna try that out once we're done with this kit. So we'll bring you guys some updates once we, once stuff starts happening and stuff starts growing. So this is day three. There is mycelium growth all over it. All those little hairs. That's the fungi growing around. And I think we should have mushrooms by day five or six. So I'll give you an update when we have little tiny baby mushrooms. Okay, it's been about a week. The mushrooms have been forming. Um, we've been watering it daily, mainly. And supposedly the growth happens more on the side because we've just laid it down like this. And... We just noticed this today. There's mushrooms all up here where there's no growing medium. So that's cool. So we're gonna have to like cut slits so they can grow out. And we'll come back to you when they get a little bit bigger or when we harvest them. Okay, so it's been two weeks on our mushroom mini farm and they got nice and big and we didn't harvest them because we thought they'd get a little bigger. So we didn't know quite when to harvest them. So they kind of dried out. So we are going to cut these off and redo it on the back side. So we're going to cut the slit and do all that and redo it on the back side. So let's cut them off. Okay, so there is still some life on this back, 
But it needs to be wetted again. Yeah, they need to be re-soaked. Yeah. So, Grant, um, we're going to, once this we do this twice, we are going to inoculate, which is where the fungus grows into some wood. And we're going to put it in some dowels, and we're going to get large um, wood, large logs, and we're going to put the dowels in some holes that we drilled, and um, they'll grow mushrooms out of there within a year. And then we're going to chop this up and make it into a pulp and spread it in our mulch pile, and that will hopefully make mushrooms in our mulch pile so we can have mushrooms all summer long. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.